Thank you for liberating this town. American World War II veterans. Heroes returning to a city in the Czech Republic. It's a celebration of liberty and free, and I think the celebration of uh, United States. Honored and remembered for their service and sacrifice. It humbles me. It humbles me. Makes tears come to your eyes, really. This is Return to Pilsen, an American story. American veterans might not always receive the praise and thanks they deserve, but in the city of Pilsen in the Czech Republic, the citizens there celebrate our World War II veterans every year in grand style. Fox 11's Mark Leland traveled to Pilsen and joins us this morning with what he discovered. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Rachel. You know, the city of Pilsen goes all out to honor and celebrate our World War II veterans every year. It is truly an amazing sight to witness, and for our veterans, they say it's a thrill of a lifetime. Each year around the beginning of May, the end of World War II is remembered with a liberation festival in Pilsen, the third largest city in the Czech Republic. It's located about an hour's drive west of the capital of Prague. There's music, public gatherings, and a parade. And yes, as you can see by the flags being waved, this festival is a resounding salute to the Stars and Stripes and American World War II veterans. It's very rare. You know, it's been over 60 years and they still uh, honor the American forces and have wonderful celebration. The biggest show of community support happens during the Convoy of Liberty. Thousands literally line the streets here to check out the World War II veterans and the military vehicles. 91-year-old Marion Kirkham is one of a handful of American veterans who made it to this year's festival. He served in World War II and has returned to Pilsen for several years now, where his brother died fighting to help the Czech people. He is amazed at the outpouring of love and support he and the others continue to receive. They lost their freedom, so they know what it's like without freedom. And now they want to preserve that freedom. And they want their children to remember what freedom means. Mm -hmm. it's, it's amazing to me. Kirkham and the others are riding in authentic World War II Jeeps. In fact, all of the vehicles in the parade are from that era, painstakingly restored by local car clubs. And the young U.S. soldiers you see are actually Czech reenactors who take part out of a genuine love for America and those World War II veterans. This is why we do it, to see, to meet these, these uh, people, to tell them thank you very much for everything they did. And if it's not military jeeps, it's the American flag. It can be found everywhere in Pilsen during this time of year and permanently at a special memorial thanking America for liberating the city on May 6, 1945. The memorial can be found, fittingly enough, on America Boulevard. What is it for you that, that keeps you coming back? In one word, I could say the people. The people. The people. The special bond? Yes, because when we arrived here in 1945, May of 1945, I personally found the Czech people were so close to us in hearts and minds that it's a natural bond. A bond the veterans and the Czech people say continues to grow stronger with time. We really appreciate what they did. We, we know we are trying to be, to, to, to do the same. The freedom that American soldiers brought to Pilsen in 1945 didn't last long with Soviet communist rule taking over in 1948 and lasting just over 40 years. But the people of Pilsen never forgot and since 1990, the year after the fall of communism, they have been holding their liberation festival welcoming back World War II American veterans year after year. 
And this year was certainly a spectacle I never expected to see in a European country for our veterans. And Rachel, every five years, I'm told, they make the Liberation Festival there even bigger wow. and better. And that event, that big event, is coming up two years in 2015. Well, I, I imagine that it was just amazing for the veterans who were able to make <laughs> it, what it was like to be there. So wonderful. But um, there aren't very many left, these World War II veterans. No, they're not. There are only a handful, and only a handful actually uh, turned out this year that could make it. I'm told the numbers have actually gone down over the years, but one veteran who is currently 98 years old, he is already making plans to attend that big event in 2015. He'll be 100 years old then. Wow. So they, they want to come back if they're able to. That would be awesome. And yes. what, what will happen then when all of the World War II veterans are no longer with us? Well, it's a good question. They're still uh, being remembered. They still want to remember them. But uh, so what they're doing is they're already creating new bonds with Americans. Tomorrow, I'm going to tell you how a Northeast Wisconsin group is offering the Pilsen people a thank you in return mm. as a way to keep that connection alive. And they hope to keep that going for many Many years to come. All right, interesting. Looking forward to that. Now, for more photos that Mark took of the Convoy of Liberty, you can head to fox11online.com. Look for the story, which includes a link to a photo gallery. Thanks, Mark. Sure.